Boy, not what any of us wants to hear. Doctors say this flu season is looking to be far no. worse than last year. The CDC says numbers are starting to resemble the 2017 to 2018 flu season. That was the most severe of the decade. 2,900 people have already died nationwide. 27 of those were children. Denver 7's Jessica Porter spoke to a doctor at Denver Health who's sending a warning this season. Our ward has been full for several weeks of, of kids with influenza. Um, and so it's been a, a bad and early season. There have been 765 hospitalizations for the flu in Colorado this season. Dr. James Gainsbauer with so Denver Health says it's still too early to determine how effective this year's vaccine is, but you should still get one. Even though they might get flu, they might not get as sick as, as uh, they would without vaccine. Many people, even in our own newsroom, say they got sick even after getting a flu shot. Gainsbauer says just because you get the vaccine doesn't mean it immediately gives you 100% immunity. It takes uh, a couple of weeks for people to sort of mount a response to flu, which is why we're always recommending people get flu early on. And so if you get it too late in the middle of flu, maybe you, know, you don't have quite enough time. He says if you or a child has flu-like symptoms, like a high fever, vomiting, or trouble breathing, don't hesitate to go to the hospital to be tested. There is a treatment for flu, um, and uh, it works only if you get it early on in the course of your illness. While the CDC continues to guess which types of influenza will be circulating when formulating a vaccine every year, Gainsbauer says new studies show huge advances in science, leading us closer than ever to a universal vaccine given only once. I think for the first time we can say we're probably within, you know, five years, say, of uh, of a real shift in how we vaccinate against flu. Jessica Porter, Denver 7.